Hello and welcome to Ganesh Studio channel. So today we are going to discuss that how we can find out a kernel of a matrix of any linear transformation. Okay. So let's say you are given with a matrix. You can see that this is a matrix of order three by four, so real number. Now, if you want to find out the kernel of any matrix, you must focus. First of all, let me tell you what is kernel about. So kernel is a linear transformation. Let's say you want to find out the kernel of A. So it should be of the form of X such that any linear transformation of AX vector is 0. Where X belongs to R. Okay. So what you need to do, you have to take this matrix, multiply it with a vector in the form of X, Y and Z and put it as 0. Then find out the transformation that would be your kernel. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. So if you check it out, 1, 3, 4, 1, 1, minus 4, 2, 4, 0, 1, 4, 8, x. Okay, you can put it as x or x1, x2, x3 or x, y, z, anything which you want, equals 0. Okay, now solve it but before that you can do one thing you can write it in the form of augmented matrix okay and now try to make it out as a eclair form row eclair form how you can do it try to make as many zeros as you can in particular row. let's say how you can do it by using row transformation or column so I'm using row, so R2 minus 3R1 and R3 tends to R3 minus 4R1, right? Why I did so? Because in this case, you will have R3, R2 which is 3 minus 3R1, 3 minus 3, 0 and here 4 minus 4R1, so 4 minus 4 is 0, okay? So you will have now first is as it is. Now 3 minus 1, 0, 0. Here you are subtracting 1 minus 3 R1. So minus 2, 4 minus 6, minus 2, 4 minus 3, 1. Okay? And don't use this. You need to keep it as it is. So you can take it as, but just solve this part and then take it as it is. Thereafter, R3 minus 4, R1, 4 minus 4, 0, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 8, 0, minus 4, minus 8 is minus 8, and 8 minus 4 is 4, right? So, thereafter, what you can do to make it Roetian form, you can take it as, so if you add 4R2 or subtract, right? So in this case, you are doing it, so not touching x1, x2, now this is R3 minus 4R2, 0, minus 8, minus minus plus 8, 0, minus 8, plus 8, 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. Alright. Now what you need to do. Expand it. So if you multiply it. Take it as it is. You can take this separately as well. Okay. If you want. So if you open this up. X. Why removed it? Because for augmented matrix you need to apply, if you apply dot dot, then you need to apply your transformation in that as well, which we can't afford here, because then it will make uh, uh, increased complexity, okay? So here, x plus y plus, so first of all, there are four rows, four values, right? So I should take it as x1, x2, x3, x4. So 
x1, x2, x3, x4. Thereafter, x1, x2, x3, x4. And here is a so here x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 plus x4 equals 0. Right? Thereafter, because this is your this is the all these are null spaces. You need to cover only these things. So minus 2x2 minus 2x3 plus x4 equals 0. Okay. Now you have four variables to find out, but you have only two equations. So how you can do it? In this case, you can do like minus 2x2 minus 2x3 plus x4. This is your second equation. You can take any of these. Let's say this is your um, alpha. This is your beta. So find out the value of x2. 2x2 will be minus 2 alpha. You have taken x3 as alpha, x4 as beta. So minus 2 alpha plus beta. So x2 will be minus alpha plus beta by 2. Okay, this is your first solution. Thereafter, for if you put this into your first equation, which is this, I'm writing down here. So x1 plus x2 is this, plus 2x3 you have taken alpha and this is beta. So x1, 2 alpha minus alpha, alpha, half and 1, 3 by 2 beta. So this is minus alpha minus 3 by 2 beta. That means if you want to find out the value of kernel, that would be, something in the form of x1 and this is the case of alpha and beta okay so if you are taking alpha common see i am firstly writing it down like uh, let me erase this so if i will put the values here so your x1 is minus alpha minus 3 by 2 beta your x2 is minus alpha plus beta by 2 your x3 you have taken, consider alpha and this is beta, right? So, if you separate it in the form of alpha and beta transformation, so what will you find? Alpha here is minus 1, coefficient only. Minus 1, 1, there is no alpha, 0. So, and here, minus 3 by 2 beta, 1 by 2 beta, there is no beta, and here is 1. So this is the form of your kernel, which means that if you take this value and multiply, if you multiply your matrix with particular value, which is this, in the form of x, then you will get the values as this. And the multiplication should be 0. Okay. I know this is a bit complex, but if you practice it more, you will get it. And try to watch this video again and again, you will get it. Okay. I hope you understand this video and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.